talking about current research at the LHC from four young scientists representing the four collaborations. I propose that we listen to all four of them and then ask questions to all. So first, I'd like to introduce Najee Jafari to talk about standard model physics at the LHC. So she received her PhD from the Sharif University in Tehran and the Free University of Brussels. And she is currently at DAISY holding a, a young investigator group and at the same time has been offered an assistant professorship at Ishfahan in Iran. Again, and she's chairing the CMS top group. Najee, please. Okay, thank you very much for the introduction. So uh, it's really an honor for me to be here and uh, talk about the precision physics um, at the LHC from the four uh, uh, experiments. Um, back to the history, actually, this plot uh, of uh, ISR attracted me a lot. This is the diphoton invariant mass that stops actually at 10 GeV. And it took us over uh, two, um, 20, uh, 20 years to go all the way along, uh, like you can see here, to actually discover the Higgs boson over the very same spectrum. Of course, with a gigantic increase in the center of mass energy and the luminosity. So the Higgs to gamma gamma together with the Higgs to ZZ to 4 lepton um, are actually the discovery channels and they continue to be the precision channels. Here we have for the cross section a precision of like below 10% and uh, you can see that we use these channels to actually extract the Higgs boson mass. Here the gray band shows the run one combination and then we have the two run two uh, measurements and we are reaching actually a permeable level precision on the Higgs mass. Uh, concerning the couplings, um, we are exploiting the full um, suit of accessible decay and production of the Higgs boson to establish the, co the, the coupling to the uh, standard model particles. In this plot, you can see uh, the coupling as a function of mass, and you see how our measurements are actually nicely agreeing with the standard model prediction, which is this dashed line. You can also see that the error bars for fermions are uh, a bit larger, and the reason is that with this new type of interaction uh, for fermions, we have just started. So from a, um, my right to left, actually, we have the TTH observation that talks about uh, top and Higgs Yukawa coupling, then Higgs to BB, Higgs to Tau Tau. These three are uh, the couplings to the third generation. The second generation is by far more difficult, and so far we have only an evidence for the Higgs to Mu Mu. So what I just briefly mentioned about the, the Higgs boson is only part of the big standard model program that we are pursuing at the LHC. The big program starts from uh, the large cross-sections where we are in the precision frontier, we are challenged by the systematic uncertainties, and we are extracting the standard model parameters. Then we go all the way along towards these low cross-sections um, uh, to the statistics frontier, we observe, we explore, and we are getting sensitive to new physics. Uh, of course, in, uh, in multiple points of this plot, there are much more going on. And here I just uh, point out some uh, differential distributions without going into the details. But you can appreciate that actually we are making differential measurements almost at every cross-section level. Let's just start with the JET and QCD. So here, my focus will be on the heavy flavor production, and uh, this is a result that uh, we measure the charm production in the mid-rapidity, and you see uh, the nice precision here at the edge of the uh, theory prediction. Of course, when we get precise, we go and measure more. So uh, what we measured here is actually the fragmentation fraction of the charm uh, quark into different um, sort of hadrons. And what we observe uh, is that at least for uh, D0 and lambda sub C plus, we are seeing a significant difference between our measurement and what we have observed at HERA and LEP. And basically, we are challenging the assumption that these fragmentation functions are independent of the collision system. Moreover, we are observing for the first time directly the dead cone effect. So this effect is actually telling us that around the quark, we have a cone in which uh, gluon emissions are not allowed. And this cone, uh, the size is proportional to the quark mass over its energy. Um, so what you can see here in this plot is the uh, relative emission activity for the charm jets over the light quark jets. And you see that uh, in the energy that is compatible with the charm mass, uh, the, the data from Alice agree pretty well uh, with the prediction that, uh, that has the dead cone effect in it. And there is a significant difference with the prediction 
that doesn't contain the dead quant effect. So given that uh, this dead quant effect is actually proportional to the mass of the quark, we may wonder that uh, maybe we have found an avenue to directly measure the, uh, the, the quark masses. Um, continuing with, uh, with charms, uh, another question that we have tried to answer is whether uh, that in protons we have the intrin intrinsic charm content. And here I'm showing a measurement from LHCb, where we measure the z-associated production with the, with the charm quark. And you can see that um, the ratio to the z plus jet uh, shows a nice agreement in the, in the large uh, rapidity with the assumption that there is actually an intrinsic charm uh, into the proton. Of course, we need more data and uh, the inclusion in the global PDF fit to make a firm statement. Now, I changed the gears to, um, to electroweak, and here I just want to highlight uh, the, the measurement of the invisible width, uh, which uh, uh, from CMS we have a precision equivalent to what we had from the lab combination. On the right side, you can see also the W mass measurements at the LHC that are among the most precise. Since I don't have time, I just uh, go for the, for the W mass. Here we have the measurement from ATLAS, which had 19 MeV uh, uncertainty, uh, impressive. And then <clears throat> you can see that among the uncertainties, PDF is contributing quite significantly. On the other hand, what we know is that um, the, the, this uncertainty on the W mass in the central part of the, uh, of the phase space and the forward part, it is anti-correlated. So if we get the chance to combine those sorts of measurements, we may have some cancellation and get better precision. And this is actually the moment that the measurement by LHCb comes into play, the forward detector. And here uh, we are measuring the charge over uh, PT of the muon to extract the W mass. Um, it is only part of the data, and the measurement is still dominated by the statistical uncertainty. Nevertheless, the PDF uncertainty contributing quite uh, significantly. So moving on, uh, the other thing that we want to check is uh, the uh, a fundamental axiom of a standard model regarding the lepton flavor universality. Here we are measuring the W branching uh, fraction to different type of leptons that you can see in this plot. Uh, these orange dots are actually from lep. Um, and then we, we are also measuring here on the, on the right side uh, the, the, the ratio between the branching fractions to different lepton flavors. And you see this, this dot here, this cross here is the standard model. Uh, the LHC measurements are compatible with the standard model, and uh, there are some differences with the, with the lab measurement. Uh, now to top quark physics. <clears throat> Actually, top quark is the, uh, the heaviest known particle, and um, because of its mass, uh, it's, uh, it plays a really key role in the electroweak precision and, of course, connection to new physics. Um, and the, the most pressing question is probably that what is its mass, and we have done a lot of measurements, um, so um, the mass is around 172 GeV. And uh, the, the bottom line is that the precision that we are achieving is below 0.5%. Now, this impressive precision is not possible uh, if we don't have enough data. And we are actually quite lucky that at the LHC, we are in the top quark factory. So here you can see the cross-section of the TT bar production as a function of center of mass energy. This point here is Tevatron, and the other are from, uh, from LHC compared to the theory prediction. And here you can see that uh, in this zoomed view at 13 TeV, we have some measurements that are actually pre more precise than the theory. And the, uh, the precision here is 2.4%. Once we get that precise, of course, we go to uh, measure differentially. And here, the, uh, the point is that we are going to the really extreme part of the phase space. Uh, this is the hadronically decaying top quark. This is the leptonically one. And we are probing top PT uh, that is around 1 to 2 TeV. And of course, one can also measure in multiple dimensions uh, the, the cross-section in terms of differential distributions and use them to extract uh, standard model parameters. Here we have extracted the top quark pore mass, the alpha strong, and uh, the PDF. Uh, this plot is the uncertainty on the gluon PDF, and you see the significant shrunk in the uncertainty thanks to the top data. This is this dashed uh, area. Finally, I, I'm going to finish with, with the rewarding rare processes that are actually the future precision measurements. And at the moment, we are just testing the standard model in a very challenging environment. I will be focusing on the vector boson scattering uh, that, uh, that, is about the, um, that is testing the W coupling structure, the Higgs boson to W um, coupling. And um, at the LHC, we have almost observed all uh, the possibilities for vector boson pairs. Uh, some of the measurements are very precise at the level of 10%. 
extent, and we have some differential distributions. Let me just highlight the discovery of uh, same sign WW scattering and the attempt that we had for the longitudinally polarized WW scattering. Uh, the nice point here is that the significance for this is about one sigma uh, that is at the same level that we had for the prospect of the high lumi LHC, which means that we are somehow uh, ahead of the schedule. Okay, uh, so uh, I hope I was convincing enough that uh, LHC pushes to complete the standard model puzzle with a proven record of innovation and meticulous effort to successfully execute a very rich physics program. We are moving from precision challenges to the discovery front, and of course, with more data, more precision comes, and we can have access to more uncharted territories. And for sure, we are looking forward to the run-tree data and the high-luminosity LHC. Thank you. <laughs>